everyone, we are here at Goji Hot Pot. This is a new restaurant in Orlando, Florida. We are here for all you can eat sushi, hot pot, and Korean barbecue. I'm so excited. So while the hot pot broths are boiling, we started at the sushi buffet first. Look at all the different types of sushi. They had so many rolls. So many nigiri, sashimi, and more rolls. Now what I loved about this place is although it's buffet, the sushi was great quality. They had the rice to other ingredients ratio down. I hate it when sushi restaurants give you too much rice. I want more fish. <laughs> So this is my first plate. Salmon nigiri is by far my favorite sushi. It's so simple and so good, as long as there isn't too much rice. That fish is actually really good. And the rice is not bad. This was the tuna avocado roll. Okay, so for a place that has buffet sushi, <laughs> actually really good. I'm so surprised. This was a spicy roll. I think it was spicy tuna, but there was also crab on top. So delicious. Now, I don't usually go for fried rolls. This is one my boyfriend picked out, and I was pleasantly surprised. It had a different flavor because it was fried, but it also gave good texture, and there was crab on top. Here is the sauce bar. You can make a sauce for your hot pot or your barbecue. They are making one for me and my boyfriend. So I had chili oil in mine, sacha sauce in his, garlic in both, soy sauce, oyster sauce, green onions, and cilantro. And for mine, I added Thai chilies. That was actually a bad idea. <laughs> and then I added some vinegar and fish sauce. What's your go-to sauce? So now we're at the barbecue section. These are all the barbecue meats. We have short ribs, a bunch of different pork, here we have spicy squid. We wanted to try something different. And we went for a pork belly. They had a lot of chicken. I'm not a huge chicken person when it comes to barbecue. I tend to go for a lot of beef and other different varieties. Like here we have a bunch of innards. And now we're at the hot pot area of the buffet. The buffet had so many options. Look at all the ingredients for hot pot. So much seafood. This is all fish. This is all the hot pot meat. They had two different types of beef. One was fattier than the other. This is the fatty beef. I tend to always go for the fatty beef. I think this one was a leaner cut, maybe like a brisket. This is pork. They had lamb too, but I, I do not like lamb in hot pot. More hot pot stuff, shrimp paste, squid. Lobster balls, so many different meatballs. Beef balls. I don't know what this one is, but it looked really cool. And more fish balls. What do you guys usually get for your hot pot? I love a variety of different things. Here's all the different seafood, clams, mussels, shrimp, crab, crawfish. I love the options here. Mushrooms is one of my favorites in hot pots. 
and I gotta have my vegetables. I chose bok choy, snow pea tips, uh, watercress is my absolute favorite, and crown daisy. Look at all the options for hot pot. Because we had so much food, we didn't even get to try everything. So I would love to come back and try all the different ingredients. And I believe it's a two hour limit. We were there for two hours. <laughs> all right, let's get the barbecue going. We have spicy chicken wings, steak, short ribs, spicy steak, and a spicy chicken. This was the dragon fruit tea with boba. I loved that tea. Yo, this tea is so fire. It wasn't too sweet. The boba was cooked perfectly and you can really taste the tea. I chose spicy and my boyfriend chose miso. I tend to always do the spicy. What I do like to do is I like to mix broths. I did that at the last restaurant we went to, then the server actually suggested it. I didn't even know that was an option. Have you guys ever done that? We actually do this later because my boyfriend thought that the miso wasn't strong enough. He said it needed more miso and I agreed. That's so good. So good. So here we have some grilled meats. We have spicy chicken, short ribs, spicy steak, and just plain steak. Mm. Yeah, delicious. Wow, that's so good. Black flavor. You cooked it perfectly. Yeah. You cooked it perfectly. Mmm, spicy beef. This is spicy beef. Mmm. Is that good? That's good. That's yeah, good. It's not that spicy. It's not that spicy. It's, the flavor is really good though. Regular steak. Needs flavor. Needs <laughs> flavor. This is the sauce I made. Mm. Mm. Alright, that spicy one's pretty good. That spicy one's good. Yeah. Wow, my dipping sauce is so spicy. Mm, the regular really steak like I don't really like. All right. It's chicken. Mm. Is it good? Chicken's good. So back to sushi. I would love to come back to try all the different sushi. There was just so much food and two hours just was not enough. <laughs> it's so fresh. It's so fresh. So many good flavors. So this is the tamago sushi, the sweet egg omelet sushi. The texture was so soft, but tamago is usually not my go-to. I am just a fish girl. What about you guys? Do you like tamago? Uh, it's really good. The two broths together, so good. So my two favorites was definitely the sushi and the hot pot. Mmm! Why were you there? The sauce I made for him was better. Now I'm trying these spicy chicken wings. Now we cooked it perfectly, but they weren't really spicy and I felt like it didn't have that much flavor. There's the spicy squid. Now I love squid, but I didn't really like this marinade. There's my, my plate of greens. <laughs> we are not going to finish up. Food. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Ox vessel or something. I don't know what that means. Some sort of innard. Probably some intestine. Probably supposed to be really healthy for you, but 
nice and, and like, chewy. Like to eat it. Yeah. It's like chewy, but it's not like tough chewy. This is frog legs. Did you like frog legs? Uh, they were actually not bad. Surprisingly. Let me know what you think. Interesting flavor. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, what was that? Shrimp paste. Oh, you put some weird stuff It was there. shrimp. Yeah. My favorite meats out of all the meats we tried for the barbecue had to have been this short rib right here. That was really good, really tender. Here's a pro tip. When the barbecue meat aren't great, grab the hot pot meat and grill those up. What's great about them being so thin is that you can get them super crispy on the grill. They're so good. That texture is amazing. Here's my last plate of sushi. I had to end with sushi because the sushi was so good. So here's the desserts. Bunch of different cakes and mousses. They also had fruit and a few different ice cream. And of course I forgot to turn on my camera when I started eating the ice cream. Look how whipped and light and airy that looks. It was so good. In terms of texture, it was great. It was very light. It was like whipped mousse. But the strawberry flavor wasn't that strong. Yeah, the fruit was so fresh and so ripe. Well, if you guys are in the Orlando area, definitely check out Goji Hot Pot. I love this place. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.